Good morning. Welcome to the morning chat. Um, what's this episode? Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. 43? I don't know. I do know it's Thursday. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, I did not come with a morning chat on yesterday because <laughs> I wasn't feeling well. And I had a great word that I want to, I was like, I knew when I was thinking about it early that morning, before I made the decision, before I didn't feel well enough to go to work, of what I want to talk to y'all about yesterday, but I didn't, I decided to like, no, I'm not going to, okay. I don't know if it's the back of my windshield wiper. It's like, girl, you don't need me on. <laughs> Ugh. Um, ah, see, that sounded like metal on my window. Ooh, you was coming over that bend real fast. I would have shot out there if I thought I'd make it. My car didn't warm up good enough. So basically, um, what I want to talk about again is the difference between the successful and the non-successful people. Uh, and I realized I had done it maybe a couple of weeks ago. Like, oh, the difference between the um, the um, behaviors or habits of the rich versus the habits of the poor. Because I had watched a video about it on YouTube and the revelation I got yesterday morning was That is so superficial what we are talking about. Oh, they get up early in the morning. The wealthy get up early in the morning. Oh, the they they exercise. Oh, they read books to learn, not for uh, entertainment. They they make friends to net they make friends for networking purposes and not for this and not for that. And I realized the revelation that I got was that's all superficial because you could get I get up early and I ain't wealthy I've been getting up early for a long period of time okay and I'm not rich and the one time I was a little well off a little well off had nothing to do with none of those things Okay, it had nothing to do with any of those things, but I like to change it to the, the habits. One of the things that I learned when I like to change it to instead of the habits of the rich or the wealthy, but the mindset of the successful. than the unsuccessful because success isn't money success is achieving a goal it is achieving what you set out to do if it is being wealthy then okay then it is what you do it's the your mindset is what is going to get you to that success point of wealth. Hear me now. 
It is your mindset that is going to get you to the point of success. My brothers and my sisters. Okay? And it's this very simple thought or mindset. Is manifesting. And now you know, I, I talk I was talking to a friend, it's like, oh manifesting, everybody thinks that you're the one manifesting, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. But it's really God doing it, and that's true, but not all true. Okay, it's a difference between manifesting and dreaming, or fantasizing rather dreamer a difference between a fantasizer and a dreamer a manifester and a wisher there's difference and it's this simple difference they is your belief do you believe not only you should have it Not only that you can do it, but you should have it. That is yours. It belongs to you. Whatever that success is, success is, whatever you focus in on. One. The second thing is the difference between successful and non-successful people is... Successful people make decisions today that will get them to their goal tomorrow. AI. I want to be uh, the head of this corporation. Uh, I'm trying to think of a corporation. Coca Cola. I'm here in Georgia, Atlanta. Atlanta, I said Atlanta instead of Atlanta in the A. And you want to be the head of Coca Cola. So you start making decisions today that will get you to heading off Coca Cola in your future. That means you'll go to school for business. You'll make friends who are in the same industry. You, um, you apply for Coca-Cola. Even if you start in the broom closet, you can make it up to the CEO office. Maybe you start off in the mail room. But you are networking and doing those things that will get you to your end goal. They say, well, it's too late for me, or I don't know how to do that. What do you mean? Well, it starts with believing that you can do it and you deserve that you could get it. It's believing. It starts with believing because you can't manifest anything you don't really believe you can't manifest anything that you don't believe you will not manifest anyone you can you can sit up there and dream all day see yourself um, working in as the CEO of coca-cola corporation all day every single day but you don't believe you can be that. And you will not manifest that. You then change. You're not dreaming. You're fantasizing. I say one. So you don't even believe it. So therefore, how are you going to work for Coca-Cola if you're working for McDonald's? 
and you hanging around with McDonald's people. You know what I'm saying? And you're not learning the business. You know what I'm saying? Unsuccessful people. Now that dude knew he wasn't there first. But he didn't even stop. But Lord, thank you Jesus. I'm pretty sure if I'd have went, he would have stopped and been behind me. But I don't test nobody who runs a light. I mean, not a light, but runs a, a stop sign. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the one today. Not today, devil. What you're not going to do, not today. So, um, yeah. But you see those unsuccessful people who make decisions, those check to check, and I'm one of them. So I'm saying this from the check to check. And I realize the reason I'm in my position is I'm constantly making decisions for today, today, that is going to help out me today. Is not going to be a decision for tomorrow. Okay. And any time that I have been successful. In making decisions today. That positively affects my tomorrow. It is always because I've always thought about. Where I want to be tomorrow. And when I mean tomorrow. I mean in the future. Years from now. You understand what I'm saying? I made those decisions. And we all do it. We all do it. Whether you know it or not, we all manifest. We all focus. And we do make decisions that affect our tomorrow. It's just not affecting in the way we wanted it to. Okay? Are you living your life on credit? You only live once, YOLO, and there's a time for YOLO. Okay, but there's also a time for, let's see, I don't know, no low. <laughs> not today, devil. I mean, um, that's not, it's not the word I want to say, but, or the acronym for thinking for your future. Making the decisions for your future. There's a time. There is a time. You only live once. You only turn 50 once. You enjoy your life. But you should have been preparing for your 50th birthday on your 40th. Or your 20th. So that by the time I'm 50, I could be in Jamaica. But I didn't do that because I was in survival mode. I, those who survive, they're only making the decision to help them get out of the situation today. They're constantly putting out fires. They work to pay their bills. And I and don't think that I'm sitting up here judging you like I've been so successful. It's just a revelation that I recognize that that's what I've been doing all my life. I've been making decisions for today, not for my future on a larger scale, should I say. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking on a larger scale, you know, because if I was thinking about my future, when I turned 50, I would have saved regardless of it, if I felt like I could save it or not. Because you can save, that just means you don't get that dress you want right now. You're going to have to put it on layaway. Or you're going to have to put yourself in a better position. You're going to have to align yourself with people that is going to get you to the next level. Okay. Not people that you're emotionally attached to. Come on in here. You want emotional attachment. That's what your family's for. You can't choose them. 
you might as well be emotionally attached to them. But everyone outside your family should be in a position uh, to help you. And if they're not helping you, including and especially who you think is going to be your spouse. Y'all sitting up here talking about love. Oh, never knew that I would whatever. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. That was the horriblest. What was that supposed to be a run? Ah, ah, ah. That sounded so like it hurt for her to sing that. Love, never knew that something. Uh, you going straight, dog. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, so start making decisions today that will positively affect your future. Okay? And I'll do the same on a more bigger basis. Will uh, let me now? Like I said we all have done it. We all do it. There are some of us is that I refuse to go to jail. I'm too cute to go to jail, or that's just not. I like my freedom. And up into my 48th year of life, ooh, yeah, I can say 47, 47th year of life. I managed to stay from behind bars. By, by the government or state like criminal you know what I'm saying cause so I made decisions in my life that wouldn't put me in those situations I didn't dr date purposely date drug dealers um I didn't steal I, I mean, I'm not saying I've never stolen anything, okay? But I didn't make a life of boosting and um, prostitution. I didn't make a life doing crimes, okay? That would put me in those positions. Subconsciously, I didn't do those things. You feel me? I subconsciously didn't, I don't want to go to jail. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to put me in that position. You know what I'm saying? Again, like I said, I'm not saying I ain't never committed no crimes. Okay. But I am saying that I didn't make a life of it. Some people make a whole life of it and be wondering how they in jail. Like, you made a whole life of crime. You was a whole drug lord. You know what I'm saying? You was a whole drug lord. How you gonna be like, how am I, how did I get here? Oh, you thought you were slicker than the system. If you don't go to jail, you gonna die. So how, Sway, do you think that you weren't going to get in this position? People like, how do I get on this cycle of just paying bills? And then it's because you're making decisions for today. You're just putting out fires, paying bills to stay ahead. And then you're not paying the whole bill. You're paying part of the bill. Because that's all you need to get by. Just pay the whole bill. Pay the whole bill. Make a decision of what you want to do today. Set that goal. And then start making those decisions that will get you to that goal. If you want to have, if you want to be a millionaire, then you start making those decisions that will put you in millionaire status. You know, and you will be there. Now be careful. Be careful. 
that you don't say I'm setting a goal to be a millionaire and you sacrificing your morals and values because you can be a millionaire doing out upstanding work two I mean and lastly but sure not least should be the first one is you ain't gonna be able to do it without help you know if I had if I had the brand deal of better help that would be the perfect place to put that ad. It said, and better help is here to help you. <laughs> you feeling blue. <laughs> oh, but at any rate, um, that tells you I watch a lot of, or I listen to a lot of YouTube podcasts where they have better help as a sponsor of their shows. But at any rate, um, you going you need help. You're not gonna get there in and of your own self. Okay? You're not. Now, that is a general thing. Or what I said, you're gonna need help. Of course, you sure are gonna need help. But let me say this. You're not gonna get there without the Lord. God. God. Now, if you don't believe in God, you know, whatever. It's not my issue or to try to change you, okay? God knows how to change you the way he needs to change you, okay? Then you take the advice of you need help. You're not going to be able to do it by yourself. It's going to be the people you network with, the people you surround yourself with, the people you, yeah, you connect with. Is going to be the key to your success. Not then, not one dictator, not one nobody. Uh, uh, I hate to even say this, use this person, but I'm using it anyway. You know, there's no, uh, not not a dictator, not a leader that got there on his own. He needed the people to put him in that position. Oh, good. God, you showed me how to say it without saying this person's name. And and seemingly glorifying this person. They need people to put them in that position. They need to network to get up there to take over. Okay? They need people to help them. So, but me... God, you, you, I'm not, you not, if you believe in the, in God, you believe in a higher power, you're not going to get there. You're trying to get there without that higher power in your life, without God, you're going to fail miserably. Well, that's all I got for you today. You stay blessed. Have a good one today. Make the best of your day. And remember, love yourself. Love your neighbors. And stay authentic. You all have a good one. Bye-bye.